Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, PJ here again, and I'm back with yet another TI-84 programming tutorial. Sorry that I was gone. I was on vacation for spring break, so I did not make any videos. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use something called a for loop. Now, this can be very useful for many things. You can make animation with it and all sorts of things, but I'm just going to show you one basic thing you can do with it, I guess. So, to get to the for loop, we hit program, and then it's under the control. It's the fourth option. So what you want to do is put a variable in there. So I'm just going to put x in there. So basically it's going to store the values in x. Then you want to put 1 and 10. Basically what this is saying is that the, the variable x is going to start at 1, and it's going to loop and do whatever is in inside that uh, inside the for loop until x is equal to 10. So if we put an ending tag or marking, I don't know what you want to call it, and then you put display x, it's going to display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I run this, it displays 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's because it's just looping through and adding 1, and then it's displaying the number after it's been added onto every single time. So I'm also going to show you how you can basically do a little bit of animation with this. So if I use the output command and I use x and then 1, it's just going to go down the screen like that, but we got to change this to, what is it, 8? Eight? 8, otherwise it's going to get a, it's going to go out of the boundaries. And then we just display like a, an O or something, why not? <laughs> yeah. And it's just gonna keep. It's just gonna move. I don't know if it'll be slow or if it'll be too fast for you guys to see or not. But if you watch, it just goes down. And if we put a, if we put a clear home in here, it would appear to be an animation, basically. Did you see that move down the screen? pretty cool. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's what a for loop does, and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.